Hello, my name is Gary with HaveFunWithScience.com and I have a question for you. What do you think would happen if I take a balloon and take an ordinary marble and put the marble in the balloon totally in so it's at the bottom of the balloon and then carefully blow it and then spin Now for comparison, let's take a nut from an ordinary bolt, an ordinary six-sided nut called a hex nut, and stick it inside the balloon. Make sure it gets all the way down to the bottom so it's not a choking hazard. And carefully blow the balloon up. Now you don't want to inflate the balloon to its maximum potential because you want the sides of the balloon to be strong enough to handle the abuse caused by the sides and points of the bolt. Now what do you think will happen when I rotate the balloon as fast as I can? Why does it make that screeching noise? When you rotate a balloon with the nut or a marble inside, the marble or nut rotates around the inside wall of the balloon in a circular motion. The force that enables the marble to rotate in this circular manner is called centripetal force. Now, if the balloon were to pop, centripetal force would no longer apply because the nut would hurl off in some random direction in a straight line and continue on a straight path until it lands or hits something. Centripetal force should not be confused with an older concept your parents were taught called centrifugal force. The key word to remember regarding centripetal force is inward force. Centripetal force is an inward force on an object that makes it move in a circular manner. Now, the marble earlier in the presentation was moved relatively quiet as it rotated around the inside walls of the balloon. It was quieter than the nut because the marble is round and designed to roll. However, the nut has six sides. These flat sides bounce against the inner wall of the balloon. And as the nut rotates in a circular motion, the balloon vibrates against the bouncing nut, causing a screeching sound.